Hi, it's Nicole Moore here with another Flirty Friday video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below to make sure you never miss a video. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to ask for help from the universe and actually receive it. I'm going to share a story with you that perfectly illustrates that we are always guided, supported, and receiving help. It has to do with my beautiful baby son, but you can go ahead and apply it to your love life. So, my son is six months old and he has not been sleeping through the night. And my dear, amazing man, Mike, has been sleeping with him actually every single night. Good for me, but bad for him because he was getting exhausted. And I really just wanted our baby to sleep through the night. And I had read a book that said, babies can sleep through the night at 12 weeks old. But he was more than that and still not sleeping through the night. So what I did was I told Mike, I want our baby to sleep through the night. And he said, you know what? Some babies don't sleep through the night until they're one year old. Basically, he was the voice of doubt. And step number one to asking for help and receiving it is believe in your desire no matter what, even if other people are doubting. So I actually held super, super, super strong faith that our baby could sleep through the night and I did not let go. Go ahead and apply that to your love life. Are you believing in your love desire no matter what or are you letting your own voice of doubt or society or your mother or whoever make you doubt? So second thing to do to receive help from the universe. Well, after I said I wanted my baby to sleep through the night, I ignored Mike. We went to go get coffee at this place that I love and I was eating a croissant. Now, eating a croissant is one of my most favorite things to do in the entire world. And what was I doing? I asked for what I wanted and then I let go and I had fun. And wouldn't you believe it, when I was eating that delicious croissant, this woman just walks up to us, I kid you not. She walked up to us and she started talking about my baby and asking about him and she said she has a six month old son. And like just out of nowhere, I had this super strong impulse to say, is your baby sleeping through the night? It was like somehow the words came through me. That's step number three, because when you ask and then when you let go and you have fun, the help is literally going to walk up to you and you're going to have an impulse and you're going to have to follow that impulse. So I asked her, are you sleeping through the night? Is your baby sleeping through the night? And she said, yes, but he wasn't. And I went to this sleep coach and she told us all about how the sleep coach got her baby sleeping through the night. And that's step four. When the help comes your way, you have to actually open up and receive it. So we contacted the sleep coach immediately. We actually hired her. We implemented what she said because here's the thing, like love, you know, you might think if you have a new baby, oh, I should just like know how to get him sleeping, right? It's natural, baby sleeps through the night all the time. Like love, you might think I should just know how to do my love life. Other people have great love, but in this case, me and Mike, we were making little mistakes that we didn't actually know about that were preventing our baby from sleeping through the night. And an expert showed us how to change all of that. And I'm happy to report that after just literally a couple of days of following the sleep coach's teachings, Luke is sleeping through the night. So when you have a love desire, you've got to, you've got to ask for it and then you've got to believe in it no matter what, even if you have the voice of doubt. And then you have to let go and have fun. Seriously, if you go just do something that you enjoy, what's gonna happen? Help is going to come your way. That might even be how you stumbled across my video right now because you asked for help and then this video came your way. But then are you open to receiving it? So if you read a book on love, are you taking those steps? If you find a love coach that you like, are you hiring that love coach? When help comes your way, be open to receive and you will, I promise you, get your desire. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very flirty Friday.